So they're inside caring for a patient right now. <laughs> As you see, we also have ventilators ready to stand by, ready to go if needed. You may also see that we have our kids available. This is all part of support services. So and we have supply and we have linen and environmental services is down this way. I, I'm doing okay. I, I have, you know, good days and I have bad days. I lean a lot on my faith to help me strengthen my perspective of all what's going on. It's been 12 or 13 hour days for the past three weeks for us. It's physically challenging. I'm not in my 20s anymore. We've been working 14 to 16 hours a day, doing the best we can to provide a safe environment for patients and for nurses and doctors who are caring for those patients. Of course, coffee in the morning helps. You know, it, it's heavy and it's intense and I worry a lot about people that I've known for the eight and a half years that I've worked there. Folks ask me how I'm doing these days, and the motto I've come up with, the answer is, is upright and in the fight. We literally are all in this together, and maintaining that positive spirit is what's going to help get through these days. These are the bags we carry in to the house. It has all of our PPE and everything that we need for the testing. We bring minimal in and we take minimal out. So my grandmother used to sew for the Miss America pageant. So she's kind of put together scrub hats. I actually have one here if you want to see it. <laughs> so this is it. It says, what's up, Doc? It was some fabric she bought for me. But, you know, we sort of put our hair up. <laughs> one feeling that is alive and well at the moment is this sense of camaraderie. Everyone feels that we're all in this together. And I believe strongly it is that feeling that will get us through this. I'm most grateful um, for the people because at the end of the day, it's the people who make a difference and bring Johns Hopkins medicine to life. And they are doing incredible work to care for patients who have COVID-19. I just want to do a big, big shout out to everyone on the front lines on what an enormous yeoman work that they're doing to keep us all safe in our patients and our community. So if I could say one thing of encouragement, it'd be just stick together, be a voice of encouragement to somebody that's scared or, or insecure, and we're gonna get through this together because we are in this together, and that's the bottom line. Being kind to one another, being supportive, everyone is working so hard and trying so hard, but we're dedicated to our patients. That's, I mean, that's why we're here. I just wanna say to everyone, thank you so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, staying well, see each other when this is all over. Hang in there, we can get through, we can get through this. Um, this will pass and I can't wait for life to return to normal again. Take it one day at a time. Get plenty of exercise, plenty of sleep and eat well. <laughs> Take care and thank you so much for all that you're doing to support patients, families and communities. To stay safe, pretty much, you know. Look out for each other. And for those who don't need to be outside, stay the hell home. This is really what population health is all about. That's what our calling is. To be safe, to get through. We can do this. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for checking in. Bye-bye now.